नमस्ते एलायस हाई देर प्रकाश तुम खुश लग रहे हो आज का दिन कैसे चल रहा है वट I'm sorry. What I mean is, you seem happy. How's the day going for you? I'm doing fine. But Prakash, how many languages do you speak? Oh, I speak Hindi, Konkani, my mother tongue, Kannada, and a couple more. Whoa, that's impressive. You know, our customers have users that speak many languages, and Google has tools to help translate texts. But how do we help customers with industry-specific jargon or technical material that needs to be translated to a different language? You mean like server in a restaurant? should be translated differently from server in a data center exactly well elias google cloud has created just a thing for this it's called auto ml translate it is a way for our customers to bring their business specific translation examples and easily train a custom machine learning model to understand their domain let me show you how it's done let's do it This is the AutoML translation user interface, and you're looking at some of the custom models that are already trained. Now let's look at some data sets that are already in place. These are used to train up the custom models. Let's create a new data set. First, we'll give it a name. Then we'll select the source and target languages, English and uh, Japanese in this case. The translation examples can be supplied in two formats, TSV and TMX files. And uh, you can manually break this up into training, testing, and validation data sets. Or you can let the system do it automatically. You can upload the files from your drive or drop them on Google Cloud Storage. For this demo, I'll pick a file on my drive. Clicking on Create Data Set starts the import process. And uh, this can take a little while, depending upon the size of the data set. For this demo, I already have a data set imported. So let's click through on it. And on the first screen, you'll see some sample sentences drawn from this data set. On the Training tab, there's additional information about this data set and you can launch the training by clicking on Start Training. You can pick the base model from Google and train up your custom model, or you can continue training a previously created custom model as well. And under the covers, the system automatically deploys the necessary resources and handles the training. Now, this can take a few hours, so I have uh, pre-trained a model already for use in this demo. So let's go access that model. Again, when you go to the Train tab, you will see some metrics for this custom model. The system automatically generates a blue score for the custom model. And if the blue score is higher than the base model, it means that translations done using this model will be closer to your reference data set. Now, this data set has relatively fewer sentence pairs, so these numbers are not typical. In your case, with larger data sets, you will see much better blue scores. You can, of course, continue to train this model and either create a new version or uh, continue to train this up until you get the quality that you're looking for. Now, once you have the quality that you need, you can go to the predict area. And in this case, the system will show you samples for invoking the custom model via REST API or Python code snippets. And on this screen, you can quickly run some translation examples and compare the results from your custom model with the base model from Google. So this is how Google Cloud is making machine learning easily accessible to everyone by addressing the two major challenges that slow down machine learning projects. One, a need for deep data science skills, and two, a need to manage and deploy your own compute resources. This is really great, Prakash. Thank you. If you really like this video, please go ahead and share, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you're working on any cool projects and would like to get in contact with us, please click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.